Hey, welcome back to OFF. So I'm really sorry that it took me so long to get back to playing, but first I had to get over my cold, which took a few days, and then uh, school got in the way, and then I just didn't feel like recording, and blah 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 blah. Basically, I'm a terrible human being. Let's get back to the game. Who, who are you? What is that in your hand? You're not the judge. The, the judge? No. No, I am not. My name is Jaffet. Or Jaffe, probably, because it's French. I am the creator of this city. I am also the one leading the phantoms, the royal instruments of my vengeance. You're the chief of the specters? Specifically, they are my arms, sent to me by the queen to restore justice to this zone. You must have been very determined to have set foot onto the stairs of this library. I recognize you in a certain courage, in you a certain courage, an exceptional trait for a fear-riddled place such as this. However, my revenge will not leave anyone unpunished. Thus, you shall be the first to succumb to the blasts of my ectoplasmic army. Okay. I do not need any specters yet to eliminate you, you poor sport pajama-wearing pajama clown. I will finally get a taste of justice. Guardian of Zone 2, second boss. Okay. Your spirit is a valiant one, and your arms are made in its image. I must confess that I may have underestimated you. Unfortunately for you, I would discard all manners as gen a gentleman when necessary, especially for a new enemy. Spectres, come to me, dance together and echo the song of the righteous. The torment of men heals my wounds, your body will feed the intangible spirits for eternity. Phantoms? Phantoms, come to me, I command you. Curses! By what magic, baleful human, do you manage to prevent my ectoplasmic acolytes from joining me? No matter, you will taste my wrath. Oh, that was really easy. Ah, <sighs> poor fool! It is not yet time for me to reveal my true nature. Still, know that you will gain nothing by waiting, obnoxious buffoon. Okay, yeah, I didn't think that was it. Add on Omega has joined you. Nice, another one. Alpha and Omega, cool. prevents me from going upstairs. It is impossible to climb any higher at this point. Alright. Are you alright? You didn't get hurt up there? Well, at any rate, I saw a cat. I expect it to be by the south entrance. Greetings, dear immaculate comrade. Has your journey not taken you to a place of optimum conditions? This is a drier area compared to previous surroundings. I must admit that I for one am delighted. The feline gent is not very fond of rain. I have heard from an old friend that the shopping mile in the northern part of the city has fallen victim to ectoplasmic assaults. Perhaps it would be wise for you to hurry on over there and illuminate it with your purifying light. Thanks, man.
<laughs> Buenos dias, dear Sia. Where's a better place to shop than a shopping mall? Okay, so I want... I also got a new headset in the past week and it sounds so much better than the one I had before, which was basically just an earbud with a little microphone attached to it. But now I've got like a full PC headset, which is nice. A discount, seven bottles of smoke for the price of six. An ad for the meat home delivery service. I'm not going about this very smartly. Bottles of smoke. mannequins. They remind me a bit of Eve, which is putting me on edge. Am I just going in circles? I don't know if this place is just a loop. But it looks like it might be. down as I can get. Oh, apparently that's not very far. It is, it just loops around. This is insane. Oh! of deterioration and disorder of our galleries. Welcome to the Gomez Galleries. May nothing stop your frenetic consumerism. Alright, alright. Life is so short by our jokers. Oh hey, I need to get over there. Buy your clothes at Zachary's, special discount for Sia. Oh, 
Hey, hey, I see you. so effective and efficient whilst defying the basics of consumer marketing? For silkier hair, the meat fountains of Alma. Oh, you can read? Anyway, I'm glad to have found you. Maybe you can help me unravel the mystery that fate has placed before me. It turns out that my brother has been living in this area for many years. He has a special affinity for colors of the cool kind. Unfortunately, I have so far failed to cross his path. I have tried to betake myself to the roof of the library where he resides. However, I found the door closed. Even the long hours of intensive, repeated meowing and compulsive scratching did not do a thing. My request is as follows. If at the bend of a corridor you happen to see Valerie, give him my greetings. Okay. Cool. Pedalo recovery point. I just called a pedalo. Though I don't know where it will have come from. Or gone to, I suppose. Was I even able to get up here before? No. I don't know what's happening anymore.